you today guys. Today's song is Kashmir by Led Zeppelin. Um, I can't really add anything that's not been already said about this song. I mean it's been uh, used many many times. Um, P Diddy, Puff Daddy, whatever his name is this week, um, he, he used it for something I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's all over the place actually. Um, but it's just a really really lovely droning uh, riff type thing. Now um, I will say um, for the sound of uh, that you want to get, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed with a few guys that are out there pretending to do Led Zepp covers and stuff. Um, if you want to get the sound right for Jimmy Page, and I'm, I'm no aficionado, but um, the thing to do, uh, well, the whole first album by the way was done on a Telecaster like this, uh, but um, there were a few things that weren't done this way, so I'm not going to totally generalise. But the real sound of the Jimmy Page guitar is when he's got the uh, pickup selector switch in the middle. Um, if, I, if I turn it to the just the treble pickup, it's far too bright, and there's 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 not that tone. It's not an out of phase tone, but it's the. Not. It's the combination. Now, whether or not you use two humbuckers and you use the middle position or you use a telly in the middle position, uh, you'll still get that classic page tone. You don't want too much gain. Um, I've actually got a governor pedal here, which isn't a particularly high gain unit. Uh, I've got it about sort of one o'clock ish. Um, back it off a little bit actually. Anyway, I'm going to get straight straight into it, so uh, I'm going to bring the camera forward for this one so you can see what's going on. See you in a moment. Okay guys, so um, what I've done is I've tuned the low E to a D. A bit like my last uh, cover going to California. Sorry about the blood on my finger by the way, I don't know what happened, I've just cut it somewhere. Um, so if you're squeamish, turn off now. Because that might just might send you over the edge. Right. So. Now I'm only playing the D string and the G string. And what I'm doing is I've got my first finger on the G string. On the second fret. And I'm pulsing it over here. Um, it's a very slow tempo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm coming up a semitone or one fret each bank of three strums that I do. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. But then I jump to the seventh fret and then back again. Um, it, it's doing something, it depends how you look at it. You could class this as being very simple or a bit complex, but again, with all my videos, I urge that you listen to the track till you totally have got it. And then what I'm showing you will make absolute sense and you'll be able to fit what I'm showing you in with the, the record, okay? Um, again, uh, unless I state otherwise, I'm showing you how to play the actual record itself you know I'm not I'm not showing you how to do a, an easy version or whatever um, it's a little bit like the whole thing I went through with a lot of students who were playing um, uh, oh god what do you call it guitar hero you know um, I just couldn't see the the point of kids learning guitar hero sorry I'm down here uh, couldn't see the idea of them learning guitar hero when they could be learning real guitar do you know what I mean anyway irony intact so this is how it goes guys. Two two two, two two two, three three three, three three three, four four four, four four four, five five five, five five five, seven seven seven, two two two, and so it carries on and on. Now you've got the um, I guess you'd call it the chorus part. Now for this you want to have two fingers and I prefer to use my second finger and third finger. Second finger is on the twelfth fret on the G. 3rd finger, 12th fret on the D, 
And what we're going to do is, we're going to be moving this shape downwards. And as we do the... All, all I'm doing here is I'm changing the G string down a, down a fret. Okay? So I'm going to let you know what frets I'm playing with the initial position. And you know that when you, when you do that slight different flavour, all it is, is your second finger moving to the, third, the first finger back a fret. So if you can see that, I'm going but you're playing all four strings. So this is the first one, 12, 11, then you're on 10, then you're on eight, oh, so, sorry, nine, nine to eight. Let me just do that again. 12, 11, 10, nine, nine, eight. Hold on, that's not right. So what you want to do is, you're on 12, 10, 7, 6, then 5, 4, 3, 2, and then you do a 3, 2, 0 on the D string. So I'll just play that at speed. back into that section again. Then you've got the breakdown section which is the bit that goes now what I'm doing there is I'm doing I'm barring an A chord here I'm just yeah uh, sort of lazy lazy because I'm really only playing the A, D and G strings over here, guys. And as I'm pulsing, you can see... Let me just move the camera over a little bit. If you can see... As I'm playing the chord, I'm allowing my palm to come back. And then I go to 7 on the D and slide back down to the 2nd fret. So let's just do that again. Then we do the intro, the intro to the piece, which is which is three two zero on the D, zero two on the A, open D, and then the A again. Now there's another section which goes. Um, You got to remember, we've got a, a D string up here, so you can't play a G chord, which is what we needed. You could play it like this, but that's going to kill your fingers, and I wouldn't suggest it. So you can leave out that chord, that that top string, and just play three and three on the bottom E, the top E, and the G. So you're just playing the D, G, B, and E. This is an A chord, and I'm adding my little finger onto the third fret on the B, which makes it an A sus4, then an A chord, and then taking the third finger off, so I'm creating an A sus2, and then back on again. So again, it's now the other way to play this, guys, if you wanted to play it heavy, you could play this as power chords. Because we're detuned, by hitting the same fret on the D, A and E, we get a power chord, which we would normally play like this, but we don't need to play it like that. We can play it just like this. So bearing in mind that note there is, although that's an A, that's actually G. It looks like we're on the fifth fret A, but we're not. So G power chord. seventh fret and that's our A. 
Now all I'm doing here is I'm allowing my if you want to play it like this, uh, I mean I've just thought about it. So I'm just playing the seventh fret, but then I'm sort of just playing the two top strings and I'm playing the little finger on the A up to eight from seven and then back down to five and then back to seven. Let me just see if I can. If you want to play a big proper chord guys, what you want to do is you want to play, if you're playing the G, you bar it here and then you create an, a sort of D shape here. Yeah, that's a fun one to do. the A chord to get that I'm playing the bar piece but also with my rest of my fingers I'm playing 9, 10, 9, 7, 9. Okay so um, basically guys that's kind of uh, that's kind of the whole thing um, the whole the whole song really. Um, I, I'd be interested to know about your comments about me zooming in like I've just done. Uh, see if it works for you guys, or if you just prefer it to be sort of one one camera special. I don't mind. Uh, I might try and video something else now for you, but it's getting late and my wife is going to be calling me. Who's just gone to Denmark? So uh, listen, I hope you enjoyed it. As ever, please subscribe, share it amongst your friends. It means an awful lot to me to know you guys are viewing. Even if you put a dislike against it, at least you've had a little look. Um, if you do dislike it though. Um, why not send me a message let me know what you didn't like about it and we can have a little chat about it if you know what I mean um, no no violence here uh, no it's all good you know so uh, look take care guys enjoy enjoy the summer wherever you are and um, I miss you my darling lovely wife and kids and I hope to see you uh, in a week's time and I dedicate this one to you and uh, to all the people that are following me at the moment. So uh, take care guys, info at guitarworks.org.uk and you can email, you can look at the website guitarworks.org.uk, Guitarworks1000 on Facebook and YouTube. Alright guys, take care, so until the next time.